Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Colors. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to attempt to um, show you guys all of my coloring supplies. Um, as some of you may know, I am uh, supposed to be going into labor. I'm due to have my baby next month, so um, I wanted to get some sort of video out, even though I was planning on doing like a my art supplies and finished pages and like coloring book collection, all sorts of stuff like that. I was planning on doing at the end of the, well, like the end of the year slash beginning of the year. Um, and I'm still going to do my coloring book collection videos at the beginning of the year, hopefully. But, um, since I'm due to give month, uh, blah, blah, excuse me, since I am due to give birth next month, and you're going to have to excuse my heavy breathing. I get out of breath very quickly and very easily. Um, but since I'm due to give birth next month, uh, yes, I probably will buy, a, you know, some more supplies and stuff. I even have stuff on my cart. I'm probably fixing to get ready to purchase. Um, so for November and December, I'm sure I will acquire a few more supplies. But not so significantly you know so much that it would make a like a difference in this video series that I might do like a part one and a part two because I don't know how long my my um phone will record this video before stopping from storage issues but um so I'm gonna attempt to just show you I'm not gonna like do a, a scan of my desk and shelves and everything I'm just going to anything that I color with or have colored with or will color with Anything that I'll use in my coloring books or to do art, period, um, I will show you guys just like kind of one by one. And then who knows, maybe um, at the at the end of the year, if I acquire a lot in November and December, which I'm not sure that I will with a new baby, um, I, I might just do a haul video and, and update you guys. So, um, as, okay, Whew, let me breathe. Um, to get started... Um, well, let me just say this, as far as coloring supplies, I am going to go ahead and show you guys anything that I would use to color. And I, I think I just said that, but like, I mean, as far as papers as well, notebooks and type of papers, like anything I would use to print coloring pages on or draw sketches, um, anything like that. Um, so basically everything other than actual coloring books, I will try to show in this video. So let me stop rambling. It's already been two, three minutes. Um, and I will just start, I guess. So in my last video, you've seen these. Um, first, I guess I will show my alcohol markers. So let me get all of these out. I have quite a bit of alcohol markers. Not a whole, whole lot, but I have quite a bit. Um, so for my alcohol markers, I have these... SMC self-made portrait um, dual tip markers. And these are pretty cool. Um, these are nice, I like them. Uh, I played around with them in my last video. And as you guys will probably see, I get a lot of my stuff from Ross. I'm always going in there looking um, for art supplies and cause they, they get trucks like all the time. But that's just like two of my random packs of markers that I have that I've acquired from finding at Ross. So, um, yeah, that's art alternatives. And I don't even know where you can get these. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments below, please. Because I have, like, I really like these. Like, the, the brush is really good. The colors are really pretty. Um, the ink is really nice. It flows nice. And I've tried to look these up, but they're really hard to come by. And they're kind of pricey at the ones that I have found. So... If anyone knows anything about these markers, please let me know. Um, so yeah, those are the art alternatives and this is SMC self made portrait. Sometimes these are found at Ross. So if you have a Ross, always check that. Um, you can find some good stuff sometimes. So this is just a bin I keep in my drawer that's got random Sharpies and I do believe a few Bix mixed in there. Um, and everyone knows Bix, so I don't really have to and sharpies. I don't really have to do a whole lot, but 
The only thing I don't like about Sharpies, which I know they are just like a budget, store-bought-ish kind of marker. Um, I don't like that they don't have names. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Sharpies, I don't know. I feel like they should just do better, but maybe not. Maybe that's just my opinion. Um, and a lot of the times, the, the, the ink in the marker doesn't really match the color that they have swatched on the cap. But um, anyways, I have the gold one and the silver one. Um, there's a random Sharpie highlighter in here. There's a couple of Bix. Um, yeah, and I basically use these like everyone else sometimes on single-sided coloring books to base um, the page and then do pencil over top. So that's basically what I use these for. Um, and then this is a pack of, just a two pack of black that I got because I actually do use the black Sharpies quite a bit um, for whatever I wanna black out in single-sided books or black out the edge or stuff like that. I like to do that kind of thing. So these are all of the um, fine point. And then these, I don't really think I have to get all of these out, but why not? Um, these are all of my ultra fine. And I do use these sometimes as well. But for someone that doesn't do a whole lot of color by numbers or mandalas or um, I don't really do those types of coloring books. Um, so like fine liner type pens like this, I don't really use a whole lot other than for like random details. Excuse my dog over there. He's like rolling around the floor talking to himself. <laughs> um, I don't use these but for like sometimes randomly to add colored details to a colored page or something. But I have them because even before I was into adult coloring, I had a thing for Sharpies. I've always loved them. <laughs> even I used to just have them in my jar on my desk just to look at and just to grab when, you know, I felt like doodling with a Sharpie or something. I've always been a huge, huge fan of Sharpies. I love them. So let me put those back. Um, and then... Lastly, for my alcohol markers, this is not all of my markers in general. I'll show you what other markers I have after this. Um, this is all of my Copics and two Spectrum, no, two Windsor and Newton brush markers that I got from Ross as well. Um, this was just a two pack, I think for $3 of a black and a blender. Um, I did show those in my last video, but... Um, this is as far as I've gotten with my Copic collection. Uh, I did discover from someone on YouTube. I find Colorfully Optimistic, I think is her channel. I'm blanking. I have bad, bad memory problems. I'm sorry. Um, she orders from a website called, what's it called? Cozy Coupon? No, couponing. What is wrong with me? Cozy, what is it? Scrapbooking. CozyScrapbooking.com which I didn't know was a thing until I heard her say something about it, but um, she orders a whole bunch of Copics from them every month because they're $4 on the website and you get free shipping after like $25 or something like that. Um, so I think I'm gonna start doing that and like, because I love Copic markers and I don't practice with them enough because I don't have a huge, huge color range. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna start I think I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start ordering a whole bunch in bulk off that website. But um, this is my one Copic ink refill for my one marker that went dry. Um, but everyone knows Copics. These are the Copic sketch. They have a brush tip on one side and a chisel tip on the other. And they have a color number and a color name on the end. Sorry. I don't know if I was in camera there or if I'm getting too close. I'm trying really hard, you guys. I am getting to the point. I am tired all the time and can't breathe all the time. So I wanted to, really, really wanted to get some kind of video out. So I thought this would be a fun one because I haven't done this in a really long time. Um, but anyways... 
please, please, please just be patient with me. I know I'm like a hot mess and like a total wreck and tend to babble and all that jazz, but um, I really appreciate all of you guys, all of my subscribers and everyone that watches and comments. You guys really make my day and it makes me so happy to see everyone enjoying the same thing that I enjoy, our, you know, coloring hobby. And um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and updated coloring supplies. So that was my alcohol markers. Let me put these over here. Hang on just a second. Now, let me see what else. Um, I guess I can show you what I have in this box. So I have a drawer in my desk down here at the bottom. This is where I keep all of these boxes with all of these markers. But um, so these are in, <laughs> crazy enough let me tell you something so if you've seen my last haul video um so i've acquired a lot of tombos over the last couple months and this is something that i never thought that i would buy or get into or you know try or anything like that because these can be very very pricey um and these are a water-based brush marker or or pen whatever they call them, um, and they're beautiful. You can use them like watercolors um, and like swatch them onto a, a piece of glass or plastic or something like that and then use a simple water brush, something like this, and pick it up and then paint with it like watercolors on a page. Um, they also sell... What did I just... Do I not have a color with Splendor? I thought I did. Hmm. Maybe not. Is this supposed to be a pink or a white? Um, anyways, I thought I had a colorless blender, but I guess I don't. But like I said, you don't really need the colorless blender when you have stuff like this. So I'll show that in a little bit. But I found these at Ross. No, TJ Maxx. That I also occasionally go to TJ Maxx because occasionally they have good supplies too as well. Ross is usually better, but TJ Maxx... Um, they have a good bit as well. And so I kept basically finding those packs of these Tombos for like on clearance for like $6 and I found like a whole bunch of them. So, um, and I don't, I don't have any duplicates. I think maybe other than, other than a purple, this one right here, this is my only duplicate, which I'm fine with because that'll just be a color that I can play around with and like learn to use them. And I have a second one. So yeah, anyways, those are Tombow dual brush pens that you can find um, a lot of places. A lot of, I mean, not a lot of places, but Michaels sells them, and um, a lot of online art places have them and sorts and stuff like that. But um, those are my markers. And then I have, let me see. Sorry, guys, one second. Bear with me. Um, I did have some Crayola markers, but I pretty much gave those all to my daughter and she's like done stuff with them. I don't really know. So that might be all the markers that I show you guys because I'm not going to go digging through her box for all the Crayola markers. I had the, um, a 20 pack of Crayola super tips. I pretty much just dumped those in her crayon box and let her use those. And I was just planning on getting me another set. Um, the larger set, I just haven't done that yet, but, um, so next, I guess I can show you random stuff. Um, so this is the sharpener that I use. I don't have any other sharpeners besides this one. And this I keep right here on my desk at all times or in the drawer um, of my desk right here. Um, and these are Kum uh, made in Germany magnesium sharpeners. And these sharpen so well. I absolutely love this thing, and it's, like, really, really cheap. I get it from Hobby Lobby. Um, I had a whole bunch of them at once because I went to Hobby Lobby, and they had them on clearance for, like, 62 cents or something like that, and so I grabbed, like, three of them. Um, but, yeah, that's basically what I use to sharpen my pencils. I don't have any other sharpener. That is it. That is what I use. Um, and I have been thinking about getting a... Uh, what you call it, an electric or maybe a crank sharpener, um, just something different to have 
on hand. So if anyone has a good recommendation, please let me know. Um, cause I'm always up for trying other things, even though this does the trick. This is awesome. I love this sharpener. It works. I'm going to put it back in my drawer. Um, let's see some other odd and end things. I have this and I don't even know where this came from or, or where I acquired this from, but, um, I think it, it's basically like for you to put on your coloring page and use to like erase certain things or like erase around something or do highlights or something of the sort, but you could really use that for whatever. I just don't really remember where it came from, how long I've had it or <laughs> anything like that. But, um, so that's just something that's random. That's always up here in my drawer. I don't think I've even ever used it, but this is my electric eraser. This is something that is always up here as well that I use uh, every time I color, all the time. Um, and as far as erasers go, that's pretty much it. I have this little drawer right here um, that I keep in the little office supply thing up here. It's the, you know, these things you can get from Walmart or whatever. Um, I have a couple of these big erasers, which I don't really use other than for like big spaces. If I have done like a, like a, like a soft pastel background and like I've gone inside the lines of something, I will just use this and it will easily erase it all. Um, other than that, I keep all of my extra erasers to go in my Kohinoor electric eraser. I keep those right here because I do go through that a lot. Ooh, breathe, Brianna. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Ooh, I get out of breath. Out of breath. I'm going to have to just sit down and do like a coloring video with some music behind it for you guys because this talking thing is beating me right now. Um, <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, so I'm just going to keep showing you guys random stuff that I have up here, basically, because um, instead of doing, a, like sh like I said, showing you my desk, I'm just going to get everything that I have up here that I use to color with. So here is another random thing that is up here. Um, maybe I'll just grab these cups and show you. That would be easier. Um, so I have a couple cups up here on my desk that I just keep stuff like this in. Um, so I always have a pair of scissors always need those and I have bought so many because people in my family and in my household always come and take them and they never bring them back so I buy those a lot um these are two exacto knives that I keep up here um to basically uh open things or um to make like swatch cards like this I know this broke I need to redo it but basically to cut around the edges of these swatch cards. Um, I used exacto knife. Um, so that's that. Yeah. I don't know, baby. Just give me a minute. Okay. Sorry. She's over there on the bed watching her iPad. Um, and so as far as like, you, um, our brushes that we use, you know, to dust away the, the, crumbly bits from coloring that gets on our page. As of now, I'm using this, just the biggest paintbrush that I have because I have not yet gotten a like floofy brush. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous that I'm using this, but it works. It does the trick and I'll get one of those eventually. Um, so I have some really super cute Pokemon pencils and some of these pencils up here. And sometimes these pencils are up here for like if I want to add anything to a coloring page, like a background or anything like that. I can just use these to draw and then go over it with a fine liner. Um, so I also have these water brushes up here. So this is all of my water brushes, I think. I think I have one more somewhere. Actually, I have one more somewhere. I don't know where it's at though. And I don't want to... I don't want to hunt for it right now with you guys on the camera. So I'll just show you what I have. So I just basically went to Ross again um, and found these Stadler brush, um, water brushes. And this was a four pack. Um, so I think I have another one of these as well, which I don't know what brand this was. I bought this a long time ago. Um, <clears throat> but this was a four pack and it had a small, let's see. 
yeah <clears throat> oh i'm gonna have to get some water a small and i think this was either a medium or the large and then they came with this square one as well i haven't used this one but i've used the other ones so um i haven't actually played with a, a water brush that has a brush on it like that yet so that would be new to me oh wait it's right there how blind can you be I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys were shouting at me. It's right there in the cup. It's right there in the cup. Um, yeah, anyways, it was a small, medium, a large, and then a, like, square brush. Um, and this is the one that I have had for the longest time that I've used. It needed to be replaced, but it still works. It still does the trick. I still use it. Um, so that's one cup that I have just sitting up here in my desk. This other cup, I keep all things gel pen. So I have... This, I don't know if this was a two pack, I think, no, this was a three pack. So this was a three pack of, um, I'll show you, I'll just take it out. Um, Uniball Signo white gel pens. So this is what I get off of Amazon to do my white detailing in my pages because this is my favorite white gel pen. Um, and this is what I use. So see how my ink runs out very quickly. So I always have to go and buy more. And I just gave one to a friend yesterday for her to try. So, um. Definitely need to be placing another order for that. Um, I have this pack that I got of metallic medium gel Pentel sunburst gel pens that I think I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I think that's where I got those from. Um, and then these are all of my... Oh, that cup is dirty. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. It pretty much sticks up here on my desk with my pens in it, so it does get dirty. Um... And then I do have a white Jelly Roll Sakura um, gel pen. And then all of these are different sets. So I think I have, let's see, these two metallic ones I bought open stock. It's crazy what you remember, even though this was forever ago. Um, so these are what I bought open stock from Michaels, the Jelly Roll Metallics. So I got a blue and a purple. And then, let's see, I think all of these were in a pack themselves. Let's see, um, they were the Jelly Roll Stardust. So all of the sparkly pretty ones, and I, these were all in a pack themselves. And then I got the Jelly Roll Glaze, all of these in a pack themselves. Um... And these are some of my favorite gel pens. I absolutely love them. I use them all the time for sparkly details and things and whatnot. But um, those are my gel pens that I keep on my desk. Let me show you real quick my last um, thing of gel pens. Let me just show you all my gel pens while I'm at it. Um, let's see. Where can I put these? So I also have the color it gel pens now these were on amazon and i know a lot of you guys probably have these um so this is i don't even remember how many is in here excuse me i'm sorry um so maybe what i'll do is i'll try to list anything that i can find that i've shown you i will try my hardest to list in the description below that way if there's anything that you want or you're interested in you can go and click on it and that way you can go and look how much it costs or whatever that you know kind of sort of thing so you can see if you want to purchase them or anything um but these are the color it gel pens that you get on amazon and you can either get the single set which is this case which has a mixture of like glitter and metallic and then neon i think that's all that this one has in it yeah right here because they also send you the 48 refills which i really really like um i really like that about this because i've I, like before i did the whole adult coloring thing i didn't know anything about gel pens really and the fact that they sell them with refills which is like so insanely helpful um, because once you run out, instead of chucking the pen, you just get a refill. And then they also sell just the refills on Amazon. So, um, I'll sit down and try to link that as well if I can find it. Um, whew, had a breath again. Um, 
So yeah, those are my color it gel pens with my refills. And for as far as gel pens, that's pretty much all that I have. Um, as of right now, I do plan on getting more at some point. I want some more like just regular plain gel pens. God, that's loud. Jesus, sorry. Um, I want some regular plain gel pens that don't have metallic or anything like that in them just for coloring. I don't know. So I'm going to get some at some point. Um, moving on. Something else that's random up here. This is like the one um, Dr. Martin's iridescent calligraphy cover colors. Um, silver ink. This is like the only ink and this came from Hobby Lobby that I have. I have not used it yet. I don't know what to use it for or how to use it. I actually bought this for my brother um, when he was into calligraphy and stuff like that. And then he stopped. So I just reacquired this instead of, you know, him tossing it out or whatever. So I figured I could use this and I could try it out and see what it's like. Um, so yeah, I'll have to do that. I'll have to do that soon. And then what else I have up here on my desk is some random stuff. Um, let's see. So I have this sitting up here and this is what the little drawer was in. Um, I have a hole punch thingy. Um, this is just some compressed charcoal sticks that I got for a project that I want to do. I don't know how it's going to turn out yet, but, um, something that I want to use to try something with. Um, and then I forget what these are called, but you know, the, the math circle thingy, <laughs> my jigs <laughs> that I can never remember the name of. Um, and then I think this is actually, I don't know why this is up here. I think this is my mom's anyways. Um, so this is not for coloring purposes, but it could be used for coloring purposes. If <clears throat> that's something you wanted to try, I actually use this for work, um, related things so that's just always up here at my desk um let's see what else can we so let's see so as far as posca pins i do have quite a bit these are all my posca pins that i have up here and some of these are brand new unopened like this one this one is the black um 5m that I have not used yet. And then this is the white. This one doesn't even have the 5M thing on it, which is weird. But I'm sure that says something in like Japanese or something. But I think this is the 5M. They're the same size, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the white and the black one that I have right there. And then, and you know what we all use these for. We all use these for details and like things like that. Um, so I have this little tiny one. This is 0.7 millimeter black. And then I have another one because I think I got those in a pack. And then I have this 2.5, which I think is also, yeah, 2.5. So I have two of the white ones, two of the black ones. And then here's a 1.3 millimeter white. So this is like the, the, I don't know if it's a felt tip, but like the soft round tip. And then the finer that you go with like the smaller ones, it's like this really, really, really hard scratchy tip that I don't really like to use because it always tears the paper up. But anyways, um, and then up here, I always keep, you know, some pens also for work related purposes because I have to write a lot. Um, and then while I was, before I had purchased all of these different size black ones, I was on the hunt for a paint marker <clears throat> to do a background on a coloring page with that was double sided. So I didn't realize that these were like oil based, alcohol based, and that they bled through really bad. So I had initially gotten these. I tried the Sharpie one and then I went to Hobby Lobby and I tried this. Oh, I don't even know what this brand is. Um, it just says paint marker. Um, and that's, I mean, just what they are. They're just paint art markers with these big old things. But that's what I was looking for to do my background. And I swatched them in the back of the book and I was like, oh crap, they bleed. They're oil and alcohol based, yada, yada. 
So I had to wait for my Posca pins to get here in the mail anyways. Um, I think what I went and actually did was went to Michael's and just got one. Um, but I keep, I do have this Faber-Castell. Quiet, baby. Um, white, what is this? This is the Pit Artist pin. Yeah, I don't like this. Um, if anyone else has had good luck with this, I got this to do like, like white details to my coloring pages. And... I always had a problem with the ink. Like, it just showed up too light or, like, I don't know. I just, I, I had bad luck with that. I don't know. I know a lot of people like those pit pins, but maybe it's just the white one. Maybe I got a bad one. I don't know. Um, let's see. And then I have my fine liners, which I need to replace because a lot of them are getting out of ink. So, these are the Micron, the Pigma Micron, um fine liners and they have all different sizes and they tell you the sizes up there this one's actually the brush pin um this is a 105 and this was a much larger pack that these came in um i have just used them because i use them a lot and they, they have run out of ink um and then this is again something of my mom's that i think has just been left up here um but these are fine liners that i think she got off of amazon sepia no sepa anyways these are probably japanese i think i've seen them on amazon i think they're like that pack that you get on amazon that's like eight dollars for some fine liners or something like that um anyways let me put all of this back so that's basically what i have there um and that's ev almost everything on my desk but i think what i'm gonna do is I am going to stop the video because it is 30 minutes long and I'm going to do a part two um, just so that I can watch this back and see how bad I rambled and if I need to redo it or not. Um, and then I'll show you everything else in a part two. So thank you so much for watching. I know it was probably hard to watch with me out of breath and rambling. Um, but if you liked it and if you liked seeing all of my things, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It is always very much appreciated and I love you all. Have a good day, evening, night, whatever time of day or night it is, wherever you are in the world, and happy coloring. Bye.